in this video <coughs> I want to talk about the kiosk in Windows 10 <coughs> kiosk or the mach the computers or any screens that we see every day in our life for example if we go to a marketing agency there are screens that are playing or offices playing non-stop uh, advertising we see them on if you if you ever go to Best Buy or something their laptop screen they have a customized screen and it's playing just all the that advertisement that we don't want those are kiosk that specialized software that uh, you do that but now Windows 10 has its own <coughs> kiosk uh, is not all about advertisement it's about uh, um, giving a computer to uh, public to have access to it and it's not like that uh, you have to log in it's just there and whatever they want uh, allow you can do it for example in airports um, you uh, get the boarding cards that those are kiosk um, doctor's office you sign in on machines and the screens that's an ex another example of kiosk so I'm gonna uh, show you how the Windows 10 kiosk work since you know that everything is domain joined and if you are if you are in a hurry and you want to quickly learn it I will suggest go to the end of the video that is where the actual setup is in the first half of the uh, video I'm gonna talk about I'm actually gonna try uh, I already tried and I'm gonna show you why the domain join network will not work and it has to be a work group for the kiosk to work properly <coughs> and the reason behind so you see this is my test machine and it's already I was playing with it last night but it got too uh, late and I it was too cold so I did not bother to finish the video up all right so basically um, let's go and quickly change the network adopter I can Just to give it since it's a lab environment I just want to it to have internet access and it should okay all right that's <coughs> we'll, we'll get that to I no let's do it now because I want to show you something at the end of the video as well so network settings Ethernet settings network change adopter options and we go here we go to the IPv4 properties and give it's there okay alright so now we have the internet that's how you in a lab environment where your server is not giving DHCP that's how you get the internet but once you configure the DHCP and server gives out the IP addresses then you don't need to do this the meddling with the IP before so since we know that this is a domain joined uh, computer I can show you here you see that's the it's the domain name and that's the full uh, domain uh, computer address on our domain so we're gonna try to turn this computer in a kiosk can we do that so for that we have to right click on the start uh, menu button whatever go to accounts and if we go to <coughs> other users we see set up a kiosk we click on it it says get started we give it name browser I tried with the Chrome it didn't work uh, the it turned out the only application that can be used are all by Microsoft like Microsoft dictates what can be used 
through this app so far so let's go with the edge browser next so these are two options basically this is as a digital sign-in or interactive display so basically for example you have a website that you just want that website to be displayed uh, your company's website or it's a website uh, where it's gonna some advertisement play one by after one that it's a web page there where you are feeding everything from the back end so you can add or as a public browser what's a public browser public browser is basically <coughs> there's a browser they can go to any website uh, but they cannot exit out of that browser it, uh, a very good example is if you've been to New York City they are installing those uh, kiosks all over the New York City I was very excited those giant screens that give you free Wi-Fi are also not only also a kiosk but they are a public browser as well so how does this one work first we're gonna go first we try this one then I'm gonna show you the other one as well enter you are I'm gonna go with yahoo.com <clears throat> all right we click next close and that was a message that if you want to exit out of kiosk all you have to do is press control or delete and you will have the your login screen you can log in to other users so we have to log out of here <clears throat> all right so it's giving me an option other users if you can see all right so if I say okay it's uh, kiosk and sign in now the, the reason why it's giving me error you see that the kiosk does not have a password it's basically the um, domain has authority over the local group uh, over this uh, uh, computer so that's why without a password it will not let anybody log into this account even though it's uh, login as a local account so for that we have to go back in the local account and unjoin the domain <clears throat> that's a security thing so that's why I was saying that you cannot use a domain joined computer uh, to use as a kiosk so you know that you have to go to this windows uh, right click on the, this PC if you don't have that you can go to settings oh sorry yeah you, you can see the system click on systems and then you can go to change rename this PC or system info and you get here or alternatively you can go to settings and then system and again go to uh, Where is it advanced display setting oh no this is display about I guess yes and system info so there are like different ways that you can access it and now we want to change the un, uh, domain to work group we can name it work group we click OK it will not allow anybody to un uh, uh, unjoin the domain like any not uh, any user local administrator or the domain so it's a computer name slash domain changes so we can either give it a local account oh no we cannot give the local account because right now it's saying domain so we're gonna give the domain admin account credentials <clears throat> see welcome to work group but now it's gonna ask us to restart it let's restart it see we're gonna have the kiosk there 
but browse this is the if you remember we uh, named it browser it's not letting it uh, join let's click it this button that's like a not enhanced session and see if are we able to click on browser and log in and we are and it went straight to the browser this is the browser that we had um, uh, set up as the interactive display and like I said this will only go to this website we can go anywhere basically we can link go follow a link and keep following a link and once we click that it will go back take us back to the um, first page for example now I want to check the weather I click on weather this is not taskbar for me to see that it is working okay for example a higher tops list okay how high is the top uh, uh, tops the list all right so I'm at this web page I can go to travel so basically in the browser I can go through is that the website is all I have so I have to go through the whatever is on this website you see I don't have a dress bar I can search it if you want to for example let's search nothing I go tons and per so I am in here there is actually an option when to reset it back to our page so you see there is no address bar I can only follow the links and uh, on a public computer when it's a kiosk like in a New York City the example I gave you uh, nobody is standing there forever they're gonna walk out eventually right so once they walk out it, it has a time uh, on I think in on this one it, it was three minutes that it will reset itself uh, I think in New York it was 30 seconds something so that's what's happening if I stop using it it's gonna revert back to yahoo.com I don't want to wait that long to show uh, on the video so I can pass it or I can simply go um, but um, let's go to the other thing quickly you s if you remember it's uh, I told you that it's gonna be control or delete if we want to log into the other user you see if I click in the again I get to the page this is because uh, with the domain and this one is that we don't want to put a password what if it, some user they could press the control alt delete delete and leave then the next user cannot uh, log in that's why on this account we don't want a password so let's go back to the local account and change setting from uh, a single website to a browser only mode again we have to go to now if you see this is if it's a work group you're not gonna see other users you're gonna see family and other users so set up a kiosk you go here and you can change the option here as a public browser right so we click on as a public browser it's saying that which website you want to start with how many what time you want to give it before it reverts back that's the so we're gonna restart and after five minutes it will restart so since we have changed it it's saved let's go back again and log out of it <coughs> and let's sign in with our browser so basically a user does not have a password for the local account they cannot log in there right 
and we can actually sh force windows to go straight to this account and not don't even show the login screen so you see now I have a browser I can go to any website I can search my videos uh, they are not there okay hopefully you know all right so I can go to YouTube and then search my videos hopefully that's a bummer okay now right there so I am in my channel I can see all my videos and for example I have two options I checked uh, of light time on a public browser I checked something that I don't want anybody else to know what I did even though it's still public and then next person standing next to me can see what I'm doing but I still want to make sure that nobody gets uh, to pick off where I left it from so I can click end session and it will confirm and go back to my the page that I said that was yahoo.com so this is how you set up kiosk in Windows 10 and it's not just uh, that you can open up uh, set up a browser there's a list of uh, application that I showed earlier in the video that you can pick them like a game or something and only that will be there they cannot access the you know, computer resources uh, an account uh, without uh, pressing the control alt delete and having a um, credentials to log in and before Windows 10 there were like third-party software that you would use like once when I first came to America my uncle had a gas station and the gas company installed their so their own computer that was a Windows 2000 machine and they had a kiosk basically set up in the um, um, in that gas station and what they wanted you to do was the send up the like this computer will boot up and it will go straight to this screen that has only that has only a form on it and you can only set up a, uh, you can fill it and send it so basically that will send a message to the gas company and they will send you back the prices of that day so basically what you had to do is you had to go survey uh, the um, gas station that rival gas station that you have to go and survey what their price is on the display like the you know in America there's a giant billboard on every on top of every gas station so the, you would note down that uh, numbers you will come and enter it in the computer and the computer will send it off and they will send you the prices of that day that uh, you put it on and same thing you have to do every day and they wanted to, that computer to be used only for that but when I was there and <laughs> I like to um, learn things or try to uh, find the vulnerabilities so I was able to actually restart the computer and there is uh, since it, uh, it was way early back it worked that I would press delete button uh, I don't remember what it was I delete or escape or something or alt f4 so before that uh, kiosk could load I would end it and access the desktop and browser and then I will go and browse the internet and when the manager of that uh, the regional manager the gas station was owned or leased but the, when the regional manager would come I will say he will he didn't want me there uh, on the computer of course he could not kick me out uh, it, it was not company owned it was leased all right so that's how kiosk work it has a long history if you if this video liked you uh, or you didn't like my uh, rants in the end uh, rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night